My name is Mykola Ponomarenko, and I am developing my own small tours in Ukraine. Uh, so, uh, what are my favorite places in Ukraine? First of all, uh, I have to give a little bit background uh, what I consider uh, the most favorite for me. That's something that I am looking for. I am looking for places that have and give me some cultural um, aspect of Ukraine, especially uh, uh, in her ancient, of your ancient history, uh, in uh, that uh, other sources of Ukrainian culture that bring to present day those roots of Ukrainian soul. So that's the places I'm looking for. And among those places, the first comes to mind places of Tripilian culture. And that's where I started. I started with Tripilian culture. Uh, <clears throat> so where do you go to see Tripilian culture? Uh, it's close to Kiev, uh, like uh, 35 kilometers uh, south from Kiev. There's a city with the same name, Tripilia. Uh, that's where this archaeological that's, uh, name for, for the culture was given by archaeologist Vikenti Hvojka uh, over 100 years ago. Uh, that place has two museums of Tripilian culture and also unbelievable views and other places of ancient history of Ukraine, like, for example, Devich Hora, Devich Hora, the where were the uh, pagan uh, worshippers of uh, uh, used that place for uh, for their uh, you know uh, ceremonies, uh, and there's also not far from here the uh, village uh, Vichativ, uh, where you can have probably the best celebration of Kupalo. So that's another aspect, not necessarily place also event that you can observe and enjoy in Ukraine. And that's the place where I would go to celebrate Kupalo, uh, uh, village uh, Vichativ, uh, not far from Tepilia, where actually the Ukrainian writer uh, Berdnik established a uh, organization that uh, tried to bring all uh, traditions to life. And people still meet there even Bernick uh, passed away uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, so that's Tripilia. Uh, what other uh, cultures I, I'm looking for? That's Scythians, naturally. And uh, if you talk about Scythians, comes to mind the place where the ancient capital of Scythia was, the ancient Gelon, which is only uh, like 50 kilometers north from city Poltava. Now it's called village Bilske. You can find there uh, 34 kilometers of fortifications of Scythian uh, ancient capital, which nobody knows about. And it's so amazing to find this and uh, see the uh, remains of uh, ancient battles of Scythians, the Kurgans. Uh, uh, to see the history of war with uh, Dari of uh, Persia and so forth. Uh, naturally, Poltava. Poltava is the cultural heart of Ukraine, and I love it, uh, and it's also my uh, city where I was born. Uh, well, then, uh, if we go, I'll give a couple more places related to Tripilian culture in Western Ukraine. Uh, nothing can be compared with uh, cave Verteba, which goes underground. And in those caves, Tripilians lived 5,000 years ago. But after them, many other civilizations as well, including even the Second World War, people were hiding there. And it's so hidden that very difficult to find it without uh, the archaeologist. But when you go in there, uh, it's amazing. Uh, it goes for uh, hundreds of kilometers underground, and you can see uh, artifacts of that life thousands and thousands years ago. And naturally, uh, uh, Borshchiv, nearby city, where the Museum of Tripilia, and you can see that as well. And final, uh, maybe I said uh, Kamenets-Podilsky, which is uh, 
a very picturesque uh, castle and uh, historical place of the Cossacks time and war between Poland and Cossacks and so forth. So I could go for, forever, but um, that probably would be places to start for you. <laughs>